it's generally not a good idea to leave a MacBook battery uncharged for extended periods, especially if the charge drops to 0%. Lithium ion batteries, like those in MacBooks, can enter a deep discharge state if left fully discharged for too long. This renders the battery incapable of holding a charge, effectively killing it, and it's considered a permanent state where the battery won't recover. Today we're going to explore a solution to bringing these batteries back to life. So let's get started. Here we have a MacBook battery that has been deemed dead. As shown here, the battery is not actually damaged. It simply has been stored too long and triggered the system's protection mechanism. This is the MBRT battery programmer. First, you'll need a regulated power supply. Set the output to 12 volts at 2 amps. Next, we'll need to locate the test cable for the MBRT battery programmer. Insert one end into the battery BMS engineering port and close the latch. Use the adapter board provided with the MBRT programmer. Now we need to connect the other end of the cable to the corresponding port on the adapter board. Now let's take out the MBRT battery programmer. Power it with a 5 volt power supply. Then we can insert the adapter board communication cable into the MBRT programmer. Now we need to attach the positive and negative output clips to the regulated power supply. Find the external battery interface cables designed for the MacBook batteries, and using the alligator clips we'll clamp the output wires to the external battery cable. Make sure to match the correct polarity, and then align the contacts and the external cable with the battery BMS terminals. Secure the connection with the screw. Now we can use the MBRT battery programmer and it shows us that the battery's BMS is locked. Let's start by selecting the first option, Pack Info. You'll now see the battery's detailed information. This battery shows 0% charge. It has triggered the protection mode, and it shows a service warning. This battery tool also monitors various battery metrics, including temperature and voltage for each individual cell, as well as capacity, production date, and the battery serial number. Click Select again, return to the main menu, press Down, and select Unseal and click select to unlock. The programmer will now begin the unlocking process. Once the lock is released, the status will show unsealed. Next, press down and select repair. It will then show repairing and done when it's done. Now press output on the regulated power supply. The CC red light will turn on and will show 10.28-ish volts at two amps being supplied to the battery. You'll also see on the MBRT programmer screen the voltage in millivolts for each cell gradually increasing. This means forced charging is working normally. After about 10 minutes, the battery level will rise to around 3%. At this point, the low charge lock is mostly resolved, 
For some models, it's recommended to continue charging up to 5%. After that, stop the output from the power supply, disconnect the positive and negative alligator clips, and the test cable from the battery's BMS engineering port. Unscrew and remove the external battery connector, and you've now successfully brought this battery back to life. This method can apply to all MacBook batteries that find themselves with this issue. Let me know if you have any questions in the comments below. Thanks a ton for watching. We'll see you in the next video.